liberals in full panic mode after Biden was just busted in perverted sex scandal he hid for years. The hypocrisy of the left is constantly on full display. Serial rapists like Bill Clinton continued to get a pass for decades despite dozens of women's tearful testimonies, but one person's claims about Trump making locker room jokes about grabbing PC is enough to get him impeached. The big story that liberals won't let die is the latest scandal involving Republican U.S. Senate candidate Troy Moore, where conveniently for the left, women are coming out of the woodwork right before election season, 30 years after the fact, claiming they were groped by Moore. As liberals keep using these unsubstantiated claims from these women as a way to get more replaced with a liberal, what creepy Joe Biden has been caught doing to women for years is now coming under closer scrutiny, after Secret Service agents are breaking their silence about what Biden would constantly do to any female that he could get his grubby hands on. Before we get into the testimony of these Secret Service agents. Feast your eyes on these photos and ask yourself what the reaction from liberals would be if Trump or any other Republican was caught doing this to females. Here's more picture evidence of creepy Joe groping adolescent girls and kissing married women on the mouth over the years. Creepy Biden for years has been seen caught on camera sexually harassing women and girls, and recently, Attorney Jeff Sessions was caught on video smacking Biden's hand away as creepy Joe reached for his young granddaughter. Now that you are thoroughly disgusted, let's get into the horrifying personal testimonies of these Secret Service agents who said they constantly had to protect women, including their girlfriends and wives, from the uncontrollable sexual appetite of Creepy Joe, who was constantly on the prowl for fresh female flesh he could grab. These agents claim that Biden is a Weinstein-level abuser. According to Gateway Pundit, a former Secret Service agent assigned to the Vice President Joe Biden residence claims that the service often had to protect female agents from him. Speaking on the condition of anonymity, the agent asserted that, we had to cancel the VP Christmas get-together at the Vice President's house because Biden would grope all of our wives and girlfriends' asses. The annual party was for agents and Navy personnel who were tasked with protecting the Biden family. He would mess with every single woman or teen. It was horrible, the agent said. According to the source, a Secret Service agent once got suspended for a week in 2009 for shoving Biden after he cupped his friend's breast while the couple was taking a photo with him. The situation got so heated, the source told Cassandra Fairbanks, that others had to step in to prevent the agent from hitting the then vice president. Additionally, the agent claims that Biden would walk around the VP residence naked at night. I mean, stark naked. Weinstein-level stuff, he added. He said that the men on duty would frequently stand in front of female agents and Navy women that were present like a damn guardian. On some occasions, they would make up reasons to get the women away from where he was. The agent said he was specifically concerned about women in the Navy. They weren't allowed to disobey him at all but we'd take them away under pretend auspices," the agent stated. The official vice presidential residence is the Queen Anne Style House at One Observatory Circle in Washington, D.C., which is located on the northeast grounds of the U.S. Naval Observatory. The property is maintained and cared for by the service branch. Best-selling author Ronald Kessler wrote about Biden's problem with female agents in his book The First Family Detail. Agents say that, whether at the vice president's residence or at his home in Delaware, Biden has a habit of swimming in his pool nude, Kessler wrote. Female Secret Service agents find that offensive. Our source confirmed this sentiment, adding that it was especially an issue at his Delaware house that he would go to every weekend. He would only get naked when Jill was absent, he added. Biden has also long been criticized for his contact with women and girls in photos and videos and was even referred to as Creepy Uncle Joe Biden by the Washington Post. In a report from the Washington Examiner titled, Joe Biden's Woman Touching Habit, Byron York wrote that he has a tendency to be particularly affectionate with women in business and social situations, like the 2013 Christmas party at which he embraced reporter Amy Parnes. The agent also worked under the Bush administration and added that Vice President Dick Cheney never grabbed any butts or breasts. 
What's hilarious is that right after these creepy pictures and impending Biden groping scandal began hanging over liberals' heads, they are now frantically making their move to have these images removed from the internet, as they know full well that these pictures could destroy Biden's changes of running against Trump in 2020. Liberals are predictably calling the material fake news and claiming that these images are being circulated by the alt-right, aka Nazis. Infowars revealed how one reporter at the New York Times is begging Twitter to remove and censor the content involving Biden grabbing girls and women. They reported. In the wake of new reports about former Vice President Joseph R. Biden Jr. having inappropriate contact with women and children, as well as a resurgence of videos and images of his conduct, Nicole Perlrath of the New York Times is calling on Twitter to handle, or censor, the content. Perlrath, a cybersecurity reporter, tweeted the plea to her nearly 24,000 followers on Tuesday, to a less than warm reception. The tweet was retweeted only 16 times, while it received nearly 700 comments, most of which condemned her desire for censorship. In the past 24 hours, a new alt-right fake news meme had emerged of Biden as a predator. How will it Twitter handle? Pearl Earth asked, quoting an in-depth thread from Richard Armand Mills featuring photos and videos of Biden's behavior. The images contained within the thread were not doctored or altered. Before liberals want to get on their soapbox and point the finger, it's time for them to take a closer look at the serial rapists and gropers within their own freaking party. Until Bill Clinton, Joe Biden and all their other little creeps are held accountable, liberals seriously need to STFU because their hypocrisy is truly nauseating. Share this story and help expose Joe Biden for the creepazoid that he is, that he is.